this episode, we're having a look at active record encryption, which is a very important part of protecting your data. And this differs from hashing that you might see with device or other authentication methods, where your password is hashed to the database, but it's no longer reversible to come out with the original password. Instead, when you log in, you would just compare that login password to the hashed value that's stored in the database. But with active record encryption, instead, we are encrypting the data at rest, so in the database level, and it can be decrypted within our view. So in this example, we have our description, which is an action text, and we're going to encrypt that data as well as a passphrase. So when we create the user, it doesn't seem like anything special is happening until you look at the application logs. So if we scroll up a bit, we can see where this user has been created. And then we can see that the passphrase, instead of having the original data as taco soup, it is encrypted. And the same for the action text that was inserted. The body is encrypted, so you can't really make sense of its information. But one important thing to note is that Rails does a good job at certain attributes that will automatically filter its value from the logs. So you can see with the passphrase, I did not do in this example application anything different for the passphrase, but the description you'll see that it comes over as plain text, and that would be a security concern if this attribute needed to be protected. And there's a lot of reasons why you would want to use something like active record encryption, and some of its highlighted benefits is if your database is ever leaked or the logs are ever leaked, then the actor who gained access to that information wouldn't be given privy to information. But of course, with the encryption, we have the decryption layer, which is done at the application level. And as we use this application, we're able to then see it in plain text. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.